Testing, testing. <clears throat> All right. Well, hello and welcome, welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. And yeah, I got a full on action packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. No timestamps on the screen. When was the last time I was able to do that? No timestamps on the screen, but we are going to have all the timestamps. They're going to be that first pinned comment right underneath this video. Thanks to my main man in the chat, Jeremy V. I actually don't know if he's here tonight, but he's never let me down. He's mysterious like that. He'll just swoop in and go be like, oh, here's your timestamps. Goodbye. Like just disappears like a phantom. So thank you, Jeremy V, for those timestamps. We do turn them into chapters across this video as well. But welcome, you guys. Saw a couple super chats come in. I appreciate you. I see you guys there in chat. Jason, Sifu, Lurker Jerry sending me some good vibes. Very much appreciated, Lurker Jerry. Captain Spicy, hi. Hi, Captain Spicy. Appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Like I said, full-on action-packed vlog. We got a little bit of news from FDA. The, we got news from FDA. We're going to talk about it. We got we got some other news. We're going to talk about it. We got some Michigan news. We're going to talk about it. Uh, I went to NVE in Houston, Texas, and we're definitely, definitely going to talk about it. The hold screen picture was from NVE. That was Saturday at about 1.30 p.m. So we'll get there when we get there. We'll talk about it. I actually had a really good time. We're going to do some highlights, some low lights, whatever's in the middle bits, middle lights, I guess. We got some beer, definitely, for sure. We got getting to know Grim Green, for sure. I have a whole mess of mail, honestly, tonight. Lots and lots of mail. We are going to have a liquid tasting. Additionally, I want to talk about some stuff that I got at NVE and, and bought since NVE as well in there. Um, talking about my whole NVE experience. It was uh, really interesting. Don't worry. We'll get there when we get there. Very random liquid tasting, of course. If we have time for a retro vape, we'll jam a retro vape in there because I've had an RDA, spoiler, I've had an RDA sitting here that says retro vape on it for like three weeks. And I feel like we haven't done a retro vaping in a while. So I would like to get to a retro vaping today because I want to vape this old ass RDA. But welcome, you guys. Let's go. Let's do this. We're already kind of rolling, I guess. Let's start this off the right way. The right way. Let's start with a beer. Ooh, didn't see that coming. Tonight is going to be an interesting night on the vlog, not just because this is a 10% beer, which I'm very excited about, but also because, look, everybody can make fun of me however much they want. I use a Mac. Yeah, keep laughing. I use a Mac, and occasionally my Mac will just stop everything that it's doing and like wait for a second before it lets you do anything. If I try to move my mouse too fast sometimes, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you trying to do? move your mouse hang on can you just hang on and so i use my mouse and i swipe and type and click a lot during the stream and during that bumper my mouse was just frozen in the center of my screen and i'm going oh my god oh my god not right now don't do this right now so just be warned there could be some dangle clacks there right now right now mouse is frozen come on mouse all right this is, uh, hang on. Because when my mouse freezes, the keyboard also freezes, which, which is uh, really great. But tonight, we are drinking a beer from the Poon Sauce McNasty collection. This comes from Ardrot. Ardrot? I'm still not saying it wrong. Ardrot? Ar Ardrot. And it's just called Now I Am Death Destroyer of Worlds. It's got banging like rad metal art on it, pentagrams and the such as. And one thing I love about this brewery is they tell you what to pair this with. They're like food, ghost chili peppers, and beef deckle. You got anybody got some beef deckle handy? Because it pairs real well with this beer. Cheese. Let's see. Uh, cheddar. Fissolini band bondage. Okay. They even tell you to pair it with a cigar, which is really the worst thing you can do. Uh, they say to use a uh, Monte Cristo number two square press with this particular beer. 
Nobody finds that. I find that a li- just like a little bit pretentious. No matter how good the beer is, if you're telling me how to pair it with cigars and cheese, okay. I'm just going to assume that you're pretentious. But mm, it has the smell of uh, beer. I'm going to be pouring it into a big tulip-style glass here. Look at that. That's hazy as hell. Is that is that just effervescence I'm seeing there, Poon Sauce McNasty, or is that some haziness? Oh, no, that's some haziness. That is some hardcore haziness. I would be looking at the chat right now, but uh, my computer's frozen, so I'm just trying to play it off like I really want you to look at this beer for an extra long amount of time. Okay, there we go. Cheers, you guys. Listen, I know nothing about this beer. Let me read it real fast. Your first taste exceeding all expectations. Your satisfaction is met with a bitter end. Destruction inevitable. Death delivers your eternal rest. The march continues for another. Your skull and bones are all that remain of a once indulgent life. Shit. I'm just trying to drink some beer. I didn't know that my skull and bones were going to be scattered into the ashes of the sea. Cheers, you guys. Here's to you. I don't know what I'm tasting. What What's that weird flavor? There's like a florally component to this. It honestly reminds me of, I compare everything to coffee. <laughs> Every tasting I ever do, everything I, I, I compare it to coffee because that's where I first learned about things like mouthfeel and body and acidity and you know, all of these flavor descriptors. And one thing that I love in coffee, if you're a coffee drinker, any coffee from Africa is kind of literally the best coffee you can get. Costa Rica, Africa, Ethiopia in particular, delightful, beautiful coffees. And they have like a floral kind of note component to it. I'm getting a strong floral. I'm getting a strong floral note from this. Oh, no, this is the wrong beer. This is not the correct I am death destroyer of worlds. That's a there was there two death. I am death destroyer of worlds. Oh, here's it. Ghost 8-9. They're labeled. Oh, wait, is this the one I have? <gasps> this looks like the one I have. An updated version of this year, of this monster beer from last year. Insanely juicy, low bitterness, tropical citrus hop profile. Citrus, yes. Sometimes I guess I confuse citrusy and florally, but I get citrus, I get floral, I get... Honestly, floral is like the big word that I keep coming back to. And it's not floral in like a negative way. You know how sometimes you vape an e-liquid and it tastes like potpourri or flowers or something? And you're like, what the shit? That sucks. It's a positive attribute in this. It's sweet. It's floral. It's citrusy. It's crispy. It's hazy. Dude, cheers. This is a good beer. Now... I have something I can pair with it, I think. This is going to pair with it really well, I think. This is a Sifu Mustache. Are you in the house today? Sifu Mustache. This is uh, Poor Kids of Discord. Cheers. That's delightful. That is really, truly delightful. This is like a, I don't even know how to describe it. Strawberry, sh- creamy champagne type of flavor. It re- I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just pairing really well. There's something that florally citrus in this just goes really well with this. It's a, it's a really nice little combo. I wish I had a tobacco tobacco because I feel like a tobacco tobacco would really lend itself really well to this beer. And I don't have one. Mm. Hey, that's okay. Poor kids of Discord. Let's go for one more round here. Great. Damn, that's great. Damn, that's great. All right. Well, thank you, Poon Sauce McNasty. In spite of your shoes, I still love you, bud. I appreciate this beer. Now I am Death Destroyer of Worlds. Okay, so this is the Ghost 898. This is the Ghost 898. This is going to be one of those bo- This is going to be one of those cans, man, that I have to keep. I keep cans that I think look cool, and this looks too cool. There's a couple other like really death metal-y beers in the Poon Sauce collection that we're going to go through. Going to save them. Going to save those cans. Cheers. 
<coughs> That's fine. <coughs> That's fine. I drink beer all the time. <coughs> all the time. <coughs> Sorry. Real gross. <laughs> Real gross. All right. Well, now that we've got a little bit of loosey-goosey, let's start getting into this stream right here. I would like to hear right now from one of my patrons. Not from one of my patrons, from one of my subscribers. This is a... Uh, Oh, you are. I think you are a patron, Kevin K. Is Kevin K in the house tonight? Steel Jan, get a views. To <laughs> Here's the thing. I bought a views tobacco. We're going to vape it a little bit. I'll come back to the beer with it, Steel Jan. Appreciate you being here, Steel Jan. Kevin K, what do you have to say, Kevin K? Yo, yo, I grim. I was just going to shoot a video for you showing that I'm making some craft beer here since you love it. I'm making a chocolate milk stout from Craft a Brew, and I happen to be drinking a Guinness. Thank you, Kevin K. I like that you did the beer vapor pairing correctly. How was that peer, that that pairing? By the way, I didn't I didn't get any information on that pairing. You didn't give it like even like a thumbs up or like a this is bad or good. I want some finish? You know, I need some conclusion on that. And I hope I hope that by sending me this video of you brewing beer, that that might be like a slight little wink, nod, maybe like hey, maybe I'll send you some of this beer when I'm done brewing it. Look, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, Kevin K. I'm not trying to put words. <laughs> I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. But damn, I'd like to try some of that beer. And I kind of like, I was like, I was taken aback a little bit by the way that you're like, I'm brewing some craft beer and I wanted to show you because I know you love it. Like it was like a little bit of condescension <laughs> in your voice. It made me feel like a, made me feel like a hooker. Make me feel like a person of the night. I do. I like it. You can tell me that I like it because you like it so much. Mm? Mm. That's me liking it. Man, that's delicious. Like red grapefruit, florally red grapefruit maybe is kind of what I'm getting. Damn good. Appreciate you, Kevin K. Appreciate you. Yo, yo, to you, bro. Um, if anybody else out there has a video similar to Kevin K's, you can send it on over to me. It can be literally anything. I just really want to hear from you guys. You want to show me your favorite beer, your pet, reptiles, uh, your your dab rig, your, your vape setup, your favorite shop. You want to shout out your mom, shout out your aunt. You want to shout out someone for a birthday, which we're going to sing happy birthday right after these super chats. You can do that. Send it over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, that one thing. You know how it goes. Chances are I'll see the attachment. Chances are I'll see the attachment. These shoes, Lee? Or uh, these shoes. Were these the shoes? That, we're not there yet. We're not, we're, not, we're not there yet. We're not to those shoes yet, man. But we're... Don't, if, you didn't, if you were worried that we weren't going to address Poon Sasa's shoes tonight... Disavow yourself of that right now because we're definitely going to address Poon Sasa's shoes tonight when we get to that NVE hotness. Uh, if my mouse works, let's do some super chats. Remember I said if. Come on, mouse. Let's go. Am I too loud? I see myself peeking. If I'm too loud, just tell me that I'm too loud. Okay. Okay. I finally swapped over to here. Perfect. We're running long tonight because of a faulty mouse. Aaron Green, just because, bro, thank you so much. Sexy King feels good for two bills. Appreciate you, bro. Hope you're good. Barbara Burgess, for Uncle Fred, a.k.a. your dad, towards a gallon of gas or a plane ticket north. Love you, Green family and Vape fam. Shout out to Uncle Fritzy. Yeah, I just talked to my dad. I've been talking to my dad a lot more, actually. Uh, we had a couple phone conversations. Uh, my dad just had surgery. It's not something I was going to like put out there or all over the internet or YouTube, but I've done dad updates in the in the past on this stream. And my dad just had some surgery. It was a an, an outpatient procedure. He, he said, you know, it's a kidney thing. Um, it's a kidney thing. It's been a, it's kind of a mixed 
blessing, I guess. He had some back pain that was due to a kidney thing. And now that the kidney things kind of helped, it's kind of taking care of some of his back pain. And this is something that's going to have to happen like literally every three months. Um, so th yeah, shout out to, shout out to dad, uh, Frederick. He, he likes to go by Frederick, Frederick. I will respect my father's wishes and call him Frederick. So yes, uh, and he's doing, look, he's doing okay. He's resting up as best he can. He's not going to be able to work for a little bit. Um, you know, it's like this double-edged sword of because of the Parkinson's, he has to like keep up his energy and maintain his stamina. Um, but then when you go for this procedure, it's like, oh, well, you can't, don't, don't get up for like 10 days, just rest. It's like, okay, well, I have to rest to heal, but I have to exercise to maintain my stamina so that I can live. You know, so it's kind of like in this weird space. He, he, you know, he's doing the best he can, and I love him into the ground, Barbara. And thank you. That five dollars will go directly to my dad, hundred percent directly there. Appreciate you, Barbara. Love you tons. James Duke, very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, and all the wonderful people I met in Houston. It was a pleasure to see you all there. Made the trip. Something to remember, James. I. We're going to get, I'll get to you in a second, James, but I appreciate you being there. I was pumped to see you there. Pumped because I instantly recognized you. I instantly recognized you from that, that one thing video you sent in. And I'm like, Grogan, he's got the Grogan mod. Yeah. I got to touch and hold the Grogan mod. Appreciate you, James Duke, very much. Kevin Yum. That's very gracious of you. <laughs> Whoa. And, and you get a free burp <laughs> with your name there. Kevin Yum. Appreciate you. It's Mua. Moo I'm alive and I'm at work, so I'll be here for the whole dealio. Not this week, replay squad. All right. Moo Here tonight for the long haul. Appreciate you, bro. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Uh, Dawn says, Happy birthday, Jay Hayes. It's Jay Hayes' hit birthday. <laughs> here we go. We're singing birth happy birthday to Jay Hayes. Because as I've said, I think everybody gets should get sung happy birthday on their birthday. It's like the one tradition. It's like, I don't care about, you know, you don't have to have cake. You don't have to have presents. But if someone doesn't sing you happy birthday, I feel like that, that, shall, not, that shall not stand. So we have some other birthdays in addition to the Hazer, the OG, the Hazer, the king of the Hazers, Jay Hayes. It's his birthday, uh, Chris Murdoch's birthday. Yo, yo, Chris Murdoch, your birthday was yesterday. Vaporite's birthday is today, and the wee baby Seamus, I saw you there in the chat already, the wee baby Seamus' significant other birthday is today, and his young son, his young boy, whose name is completely, I completely forgot it. I apologize, Seamus. Your young boy, it was also his birthday a few days ago. And Seamus's kid was born with literally half of a heart. One half of a heart. Seamus said he had, what was that, four, three to four heart surgeries before he was five years old? This kid's a miracle. And I, of course, we're going to sing happy birthday. Of course we are. In fact, this is unacceptable. I should really just... Uh, I need to find his his name because that I feel like that's a little bit cruddy because he told me the name. Where you at, wee baby? Sully, 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 Sully. Happy birthday, Sully. Happy birthday, Jay Hayes. Happy birthday, uh, Chris Murdoch. Happy birthday, Vape Wright. And happy birthday, Bree. Here we go, everybody. You gonna sing with me? Please sing with me. Happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris Murdoch, Vaporite, Bree, and Sully. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Sully, skip around the room. Sully, skip around the room. Happy birthday, you guys, and a big and a very big happy birthday to Jay Hayes. Big happy birthday to Jay Hayes. What up, Grim Davis Vapes? Appreciate you. Appreciate that very much. Chilling, bro. Chilling. Oh wow, we got a lot of super chats. Damn it, man says, can you do a video on mouth to lung to keep from getting so junky? My Artemis lasts one tank between rewicks. We'll catch the the replay carving with the kids. All right, damn it, man. Yeah. Um, 
getting so junky, I feel like, and I'm just, this is a stab in the dark based on no information. Is it your liquid? Is it your liquid? Because I have liquids. Like, <laughs> I have some liquids. That Amaretto pear, I haven't even talked about what I've been vaping. That just gunks up coils like crazy. And I have to re-wick my K-Fun almost every other day. It's like almost every other day in order to keep it working and functioning and not so gunky. Could be your liquid, damn it, man. Could be your liquid. I'm not 100% sure. New Wave Dave says, that cat, damn it, New Wave Dave and your cat. My cat just ran up and kicked my dinner plate and said, quit being a bitch and give Nick five bucks. Then he snatched your Dynavap and walked off? Okay, well, here's the thing, New Wave Dave. Boosh, thank you, bro. Also, like your cat's kind of a boss. Hashtag just saying your cat's kind of a boss, <laughs> boss, bro. Matt Sinister, bro, words cannot express my gratitude. I love you, bro. Matt Sinister, I mark for you. I mark for Matt effing Sinister. yo yo world champion from now until forever, undisputed champion. Appreciate you, Matt Sinister. I, I was overjoyed to see you there, bro. Uh, Gunny says, uh, the NSA took a break from listening on my Google Home. Okay, good. They need breaks too, you know, and they told me to give you five bucks. Gunny, that was awesome. Thank you. And I guess, thank you to the NSA. Was that, was that a, should I be thanking the NSA? Kevin K, definitely wasn't intending on any condensation. <laughs> I paired the Guinness with Blackberry Jam Jam Monster in a Nightmare 28 packed with 0.115 core aliens. So, Kevin, your crackle level was probably off the charts. Five core aliens? That's some crackle. That's some crackle action 9000. I'm just joking with you. I knew it wasn't sound. It didn't sound condescending. It was just funny the way that you're like, because I know you love it. <laughs> it's just like it made me chuckle. Made me chuckle, bud. So thank you for that. BJ, that's very gracious of you. This is, that's very gracious of you. You didn't say nothing. You didn't have to. Rhett Falls, that's very gracious of you. This is your weekly reminder that cheese rules. Hashtag poon shoes. Cheese will always rule. Cheese is never not awesome. Cheese is never not awesome, which is what I mean to say. Cheese is always awesome. Appreciate you, Rhett's beard. Um, now that we're kind of moving, let me do some real quickly what I've been vaping. Good Lord. Let's, uh, let's smash that like button. Let's real quickly talk about what I've been vaping. So the first thing I want to mention is this little sucker fish right here. Do you see this? Has it focused yet? This is the Caliburn A2 and good God. I'm, I might go on record and say that this is like the, my favorite pod system. Favorite pod system. I flew with this to Texas. On planes, I usually use snooze. I don't. I try not to vape on planes. I usually use snooze, but I filled this up and I just popped it in my pocket right there. Wore a Dixon flannel on the plane, popped it in my pocket. The whole flight, vertical, not upside down, not any weird anything. Flew, landed. Landed in Houston, took this out of my pocket, vaped it, not a gurgle, not a leak, not a microscopic minuscule of juice anywhere. It stayed completely clean, didn't flood even a hair. And that, that is, in my opinion, that is the mark of a really good coil head, like a really, really good coil head. This is the coil head I was using before I left. I filled it up, vaped it the whole time in Houston. This was kind of my go-to. I brought one Caliburn and one pod, some other things, but this was awesome. The whole trip flew perfectly without a drip, without a leak. I'm glad I put the Caliburn through the flight test because I know now that I'm confident literally flying with that anywhere, anywhere you can fly with that. So, um, this has also been in heavy rotation. I popped it off of the Reload Essential, but it's on a mix now with that uh, Reluctant Pancakes. Appreciate you, bro. Bro? That's right, Pam. I just called you a bro. You're going to have to deal with it. 21 or 2700 battery. That's the Typhon GT4S with the drip tip. Uh, just try it drip tip. This is all I really want to vape. Ooh, 
the Typhoon GT4S is just such a good RTA, and I, I'm not going to lie. I saw Poon Sauce rocking this at NVE, and I was like, I'm going to steal that. I'm going to put my Typhoon on the mix because that looks cool as hell. Poor kids. Poor kids of Discord is on there. I've got two billet boxes going right now. I got Harold with some uh, heavy-duty metal honeycomb doors on there. I love metal doors on a billet box. Cubics on the inside. What's upsetting me about this Cubix is I don't know what's li what liquid is on the inside. That's upsetting me. I also have bluegrass set up with some dope new panels. That's from Pam. That is from the Reluctant Pancakes. Look how effing cool those panels are. That is sick. I set this up yesterday on my patron stream because I could not wait to get these panels going. In fact, let me just read the little note from Pam. She sent me these 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 panels. These come from, uh, she says, please give a huge shout out to Alex Stacy at Carrot Laboratories in the UK. Carrot Laboratories in the UK. And please ask everyone to join the Facebook group. Carrot Laboratories Facebook group. Totally rad stuff for lots of different devices. And apparently they also offer, uh, look, they're offering some pretty dope billet box panels on there. What's on the inside? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Can you see it? It's the Kerch. It's the Kerch. And look at this. Jubbies. Jubbies 2024. Jubbies is on the inside of that. And that is a, uh, it's just been a bang and vape. This is one of those ones that I really just want to keep using it and keep grabbing it and keep using it because of those panels. I can't not be in love with those billet box panels. It's just fucking cool. This is in the middle of a review process and it is an incredible mouth to lung. This is a Digiflavor something. I'll remember the name when I review it, but for right now, it's the Digiflavor something. And uh, mouth to lung, Amaretto sweet pear in here. <sighs> Shut up. This is good. Mm. Holy crap, that's good. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but I love this thing. I should have a review for it out soon. You know, I've been gone, so I haven't been really been using stuff. I set this up. Um, there were so many hex ohms in Texas that I was like, I'm coming home and setting up a hex ohm. So I set up my white hex with my white Ashton Palmer Palmer's powders coated RDA for vaping. Turkish, uh, what's that, pumpkin AF on the inside? It's pretty good. One thing I've learned, though, is maybe I don't know the limitations of a hex ohm because this coil is a single coil 0 0.8. And I have to turn the hex ohm up to 100% to get even an okay vape. It won't fire a 0.8 very hard. And maybe I'm thinking, well, it's been a while since I've used a hex ohm. I thought hex ohms really liked high resistance, but apparently I'm wrong about that. That pumpkin AF is just uh, forcing me into, uh, forcing me into fall. Boosh. Yeah, that's the inception. That's the J Hayes inception with the, uh, um, uh, what's that tank? The Artemis mouth to lung RTA on top. It's honestly been completely awesome. It still suffers from that one thing that we all know that the inception suffers from. Tick tock, tick tock, battery rattle, battery rattle. Otherwise I, I love the feel of this. I love the fit and finish of this. I like holding this. It's awesome. Uh, I got some Moharno mango in there. And that's it. You know, that's really what I've been vaping. I'm trying to keep it to like three to four things that I'm actually like actively, actively vaping all the time rather than just having setups after setups on my desk. You know, it just gets, look, it gets out of hand. It gets a little bit out of hand. So that's really more or less what, six volts. I need six volts for that 8.8 .8 ohm. Matthew, is that what you're telling me? Damn. It's just that it's in the white RDA for vaping. So I've been trying to put it on other white mods because, you know, white used to be such a thing in vaping. The original, every original battery and atomizer that came out were always white, always white. 
And then I don't know what happened. And suddenly everything just became black. It's like, nope, vapor's like black and matte black and that's it. So I don't have a lot of white devices that I can put that on. I just don't. But that's really what I've been vaping. Um, what should we do right now? It's only five. And I feel like we could really quickly, really quickly whip through some, uh, some news. News and advocacy, yeah. So it's less advocacy and, and more just news. The only advocacy that I care about, right there. This is the CASA tax hike call to action. Just do it. Scan the code. Do it. I'll have a link in the description. Just do it. Do the call to action. Get as many people as you possibly, possibly can to do this particular call to action. All of our focus is right here, right now on this call to action. So please, 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 for me, do it for the grimmer, you know? <laughs> do it for the grimmer. Just do the call to action and uh, you'll actually be, you'll actually be my best friend. So I missed uh, TBN this week. We were supposed to have a TBN this week, but I was stuck in Houston because Southwest Airlines. That's what happened. So I just booked my flight for the next day. I got out of Houston. I got home, but we couldn't do a TBN. But I want to remind everybody that the TBN coming up next week is on, and we're having Mother Truck and Amanda Wheeler on for as long as we possibly can to talk about everything FDA, everything with uh, small businesses and the PMTA application process, the lawsuits that are going on right now, which we'll touch on a little bit tonight, but that's coming up on Tuesday, and uh, I'd love to see you there. Michigan. Michigan. Okay, wait. Before we get to Michigan, dude, I had a Instagram post taken down for inciting violence. Yeah. <laughs> I was as surprised as you are. Incitement to violence. I got a notification from Instagram. Your post has been taken down because of incitement to violence. Violence and incitement. What? Crazy. We do not allow any content that has a genuine risk to physical harm or direct threat to public safety. And I'm watching, I'm seeing this on my phone thinking, what? What? What's happening? Then I remembered what I posted. And I posted a picture with Sharkisha, the god, which you know him. He's on... Uh, He's on Instagram. He's awesome. He's like my, my favorite Instagram YouTuber guy. Sorry, I'm trying to vamp here because my mouse won't move. But I took a picture with Sharkisha de God, who is, like I said, probably my favorite vape you like vape Instagrammer. His content is so engaging, and he's the nicest man on earth. So this was the picture I posted. GM Mixologist thankfully reposted it, but my comment said. Do yourself a favor and follow this fine gentleman right here. I've been officially dethroned as the nicest guy in vaping. This guy is so nice and pleasant, I want to strangle him. Tip top human. This is clearly a case of Instagram, like YouTube, just looking for keywords, right? In the context of this post, I'm not inciting violence, but they saw the words, I want to strangle him. <laughs> I want to strangle him and just assumed that I was telling all of my, you know, all of my followers on Instagram to go strangle Sharkisha to God, which I wasn't doing. He's the nicest man on, he's, he's an incredible person. Follow him and your life will just be enriched. He's a great guy. He's really smart. He does cool content. He's got Swifty Hemp Co. All around, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this guy. But Instagram took down my post because I said I wanted to strangle him. What's up with that? Hey, yo, yo, Duchess. It's been a minute since I've seen you, my man. You're in uh, Steel Valley Vapor's basement. Sick. I hope you're getting... Hope you're getting to the moon. Hope you're getting to the moon. Now, what else is going on in the world of news and advocacy? Michigan. Michigan. Michigan has no flavor ban. Michigan flavor ban has been removed from the most recent Michigan flavor ban, which was recently, which was this week. 
So remember in 2019, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, she tried to use her executive powers to institute a flavor ban in Michigan because of Evoli. Evoli happened, and then Gretchen Whitmer went, no, flavor ban in Michigan. Well, Michigan vape shops kind of took her to task and got this flavor ban gone. Forever gone. Buy flavor ban. Congratulations, Michigan. No flavor ban. Well, they're going to keep trying. Every time, we every time we strike down a flavor ban, they're going to keep trying. And so the most recent one was recently struck down just this week. And there's some nuance to this, but essentially the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services has been wanting this flavor ban for a long time. They spent years crafting this legislation, but mm, it got removed completely. I'm going to be reading, uh, let's see, where is this from? Uh, Jim McDonald, Vaping 360. He says... It was removed by the Joint Committee on Administrative Rules. They took the flavor ban out of this current legislation. So that's a win. No flavor ban in Michigan. I'll take that as a win, especially because Governor Gretchen Whitmer over here, she, she's the one who shut down my liquid business, you see. She turned me into a felon overnight. So we were forced to shut down. So right now, there's no flavor ban in Michigan, but, but, and there's always a but, right? There is some legislation coming up in Michigan that's six bills that are kind of joined together. One can't pass if they don't all pass. And unfortunately, what's included in here is not a flavor ban, not a flavor ban, might be worse than a flavor ban. Might be have the same exact effect as a flavor ban because what Michigan's trying to do next, they've tried a few times for a flavor ban, failed every time. Now, what's coming up in Michigan is legislation that says that the only vape products allowed in the state of Michigan are FDA approved vape products, which is essentially a flavor ban. That's essentially prohibition in the state of Michigan. That's coming up. I don't know that CASA has a call to action for this just yet, but the second that they do, I will put it out there to you guys because these calls to actions, the calls to action in Michigan is what stopped the first flavor ban. We need calls to action for this new legislation happening in Michigan. Like I said, I'm sure, I'm sure CASA is on it. I'm sure it's just a matter of, matter of days before we get a call to action for this. But this, this new legislation would essentially have the same effect as a flavor ban. But as it stands right now, no flavor ban in Michigan. So cheers, I'll drink to that. Freaking governor, freaking Gretchen Shitmore. Sorry. That was too easy. That's just low-hanging fruit to call her Governor Gretchen Shipmore. So let's move our attention to my unmoving mouse. Let's move our attention to FDA. So after 14 years of vapor products being on the market, FDA has finally given a marketing approval order to a really old... <laughs> 2014 cardamizer based tobacco flavored big tobacco e-cig it happened it happened this is honestly this is the exact result that we assumed would happen back in 2016 when the first deeming regulations came out everybody remembers 8816 8 when 8816 happened me and literally all of my whatever advocacy circle at that time all said the same thing. We saw these regulations and we went, oh, these were custom tailored by Big Tobacco for Big Tobacco. The only companies that are going to be able to get a PMTA in who are going to be able to afford this is Big Tobacco companies. The hobby open market, we thought in 2016, straight fucked. There's no way that a small liquid manufacturer is going to be able to afford the millions and millions of dollars for a PMTA application with no guarantee of it even being approved, accepted, anything. This was always the inevitable outcome. There was a brief 
shining moment. 2019, 2020, where Amanda Wheeler, who's going to be on TBN next week, Amanda Wheeler and her organization got a bunch of smaller, medium-sized liquid manufacturers and vape companies to be able to have a PMTA. This is something that we thought was impossible. Impossible. But it happened. And all of these people got PMTAs in. Now, when it comes down to it, all of the companies that applied, all of the small and medium-sized companies that applied, all got marketing denial orders almost right away. Almost right away. But they gave extra time and extra consideration to other companies like British American Tobacco, Juul, you know, uh, PMI, uh, Puff Bar, Blue, some of these bigger companies. They just gave extra time to, extra time to. Well, now... In 2021, the Food and Drug Administration has said that a Tobacco Views solo is appropriate for the protection of public health. Whether they realize it or not, the FDA has given credibility to the technology of vaping because you can't say this specific product, let's just open a views. This specific product is appropriate for the protection of he public health, but this other same specific product is not. I don't think FDA is going to be able to get away with that. I don't think $20, $20. I spent $20 on two Views pods. So here's the thing. I couldn't even find a Views solo. All I can find is the Views Alto. We're here in 2021 using like the equivalent of like a Tesla to vape. And the FDA approved what is the equivalent of like a Model T. Old, less effective, less flavorful, terrible tasting, Cartomizer based e cig. We have better technology than that now. So it's like, okay, let's have the conversation. You're saying that a tobacco, a tobacco ju uh, views, I was going to say jewel, a tobacco views is appropriate for the protection of public health, but that exact same product, not in a tobacco flavor, isn't. That doesn't make any sense, FDA. That doesn't make any sense, FDA. That's like saying the new uh, what the new Volvo V60 is the safest car. It's the safest car on the road compared to other cars, but only if it's blue. The red version of this car is not as, it doesn't make any sense. What they've done is they've legitimized the technology. They've said, and this is this, you know, this is the thing that I'm really clamping down on, despite MDOs going out horrible, vape companies closing horrible, giving the first approval to a big tobacco product horrible, shitty, shit tea but they're legitimizing the technology behind it. They're saying, FDA has officially said that this product, not this one, technically this is an illegal product, that the Views Solo in a tobacco flavor is appropriate for the protection of public health. People's heads have exploded. Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids are going crazy. Raja Krishnamurthy is going crazy. The American Lung Association, which has no credibility in my eyes, is going crazy. It's like they want the only option on the market to be combustible tobacco cigarettes. It doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense. So I bought this Views, and it's the newer Views Alto, but I'm assuming that it might have the same tobacco flavor. So I wanna try this tobacco flavor. I wanna see what about this tobacco flavor that FDA goes, yes, smokers will benefit from this and this only, only. 
Is there a sticker or something I have to take off of here? This is the worst tobacco flavor I've ever vaped. And I have vaped a fuck ton of tobacco flavors and literally every tobacco flavor on earth is better than this one. If I was a smoker and this was my only option, like, like this, you, okay, tough shit, smoke cigarettes. That's essentially what FDA is saying. Hey smokers, if you don't like this, tough shit, go smoke cigarettes. I think over enough time, see, I'm, I'm too, uh, I'm too progressive. That's the problem. I was really sure that a flavored vapor product would be approved this year. I like, I didn't have a doubt in my head, but now I don't even think a mint. I mean, I still hold out hope that like a jewel menthol will get approved because that would be really, really good for smokers. Not just a tobacco flavor. That's it's in, it's in, that's insane to me. That's completely insane to me, but that's neither here nor there. I thought for sure a flavored tobacco product would be approved this year. A flavored vaping product would be approved this year. All we got was a tobacco. But that, you know, that in and of itself is a big deal. Like I said, that's FDA kind of legitimizing this technology, saying that vaping technology in general is less harmful than combustible tobacco cigarettes, and it would be a public health benefit to have smokers switching as quickly as possible and completely as possible over to vapor products. FDA knows this, CDC knows this, Mitch Zeller knows this, the Center for Tobacco Products knows this, but all we got was a 2014 cardamizer-based tobacco-flavored Big tobacco e cig. I wish I could wish I could say I didn't see this coming, but it's it's all I saw coming. It's all I saw coming. But that's not all in the FDA world. So FDA, whatever. You can't say FDA approved because there's no FDA approved tobacco product. This comes down to nomenclature. You have to say marketing approval. That's all can't say FDA approved. You have to say FDA marketing order approved. They've been approved for a marketing order. They're allowed to market their products in the United States and say on their packaging that this is less harmful than cigarettes. This is a little, little crack in the door. This is the way that I see it. And maybe that's just me being the eternal optimist. This is a little crack in the door. This is just a little shift in the tide. This is like, oh, now the technology is legitimized. You know, FDA is not the be all end all of world like global health, but FDA, what FDA does resonates around other countries and FDA saying that this is appropriate for the protection of public health, I think is a big milestone that we should not take lightly. We should not take lightly. Douglas, I love me some views, 57 milligrams of nicotine. I love the feeling of my chest caving every time I take a hit. It takes me back to what shooting a wonderful feeling. It's bizarre that they, I mean, it's not bizarre. It's not bizarre. It's not bizarre to me at all that the first product that they chose was a big tobacco product. Meanwhile, all of the products that adults really use have been given MDOs, marketing denial orders. But those aren't, I mean, that's not even like, let's move, turning point brands. FDA rescinds the previously disclosed marketing denial order for turning point brands vapor products. So turning point brands, and I think I talked about this a little bit last week, but they supply hundreds of different flavors of bottled e-liquid for vape shops. Solace is among some of their brands. Uh, I can't remember the other ones. TPB. So TPB got a bunch of MDOs and then TPB said, okay, well, we're going to sue you FDA. And then the FDA said, okay, wait, 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 don't sue us End the lawsuit. 
we're going to take all your products back. We're going to we're going to disregard those MDOs you got and we're going to take those products back and they're still under review, okay? Take end your lawsuit and we'll take your products back and we'll still put them under review. Sorry. Uh, evidently there was some things that got missed uh when we sent out those MDOs and we're going to correct it. And so we'll take all your products back and now they're still under review. So TPB can continue selling bottled e-liquid to vape shops while they're still or under like the marketing review portion of this. So they rescinded their, their lawsuit. There are still other lawsuits going on. Take them to court now. Look, everybody, lots of people are taking FDA to court right now. Lots of people are taking FDA to court right now. Uh, Magellan is the one that I'm really putting my eggs in their lawsuit basket because what FDA did was actually change the rules halfway through the game, like not even halfway through the game. They sent out marketing denial orders before they even had the final rule in place. That's not okay. That's definitely not okay. You can't send out marketing denial orders and then go, oh, uh, with this thing that we forgot to tell you, that's the reason for these marketing denial orders. I know that we told you initially, you guys, that randomized controlled trials, longitudinal cohort studies, those would be accepted scientific data by the FDA. I know that's what we said, but what we meant to tell you after we sent you marketing denial orders was that you need a randomized controlled trial for each individual product. I sorry, we didn't I know, we didn't tell you that initially. You need an you need a, a randomized controlled trial or like a cohort study on each product. Not just that, but you need an RCT or a longitudinal cohort study on not just vaping versus smoking. You need randomized controlled trials and cohort studies on tobacco flavors versus un non-tobacco flavors, product specific to each individual study. That's insane. That's insanity. That's insanity to me. So that is the moving of the goalposts. And that is what a lot, a few, I'll say few of these lawsuits are uh, are based on. And really, that's that's where we are with FDA. Like I said last week, the train has left the station. I'm just holding on to the side, watching all of this happen. And I don't know what's, nobody knows what's gonna happen. We haven't heard about Jewel. We haven't heard about Blue. We haven't heard uh, Enjoy. Do we hear anything about Enjoy? We haven't heard for, about a lot of these big vape manufacturers. And it's just, Whatever, we're way past the deadline. FDA was supposed to do this like a month ago. They still haven't, so it's whatever. We're just kind of sitting here in limbo. And if you're in the black market, then really you got nothing to worry about. And if you're not, then you might have solace liquid from TPB in your local vape shops. You might have some pod systems here and there, maybe. This, this next year, one year from today, you just, I do, Matt Sinister, get over there. Get over there. Matt Sinister, I'm gonna fly you to the FDA. <laughs> just power bombs on power bombs. No, no, no power bombing. I'm not, no, I don't wanna get taken down for inciting violence or anything like that. But that's where we're at. And we can't, you know, let's do the calls to actions as they come out. But as far as federally, the train has left the station and we're kind of just along for the ride. I'm, I'm fascinated to see what's happened. I'm still confident that menthol is going to be a thing. I'm still confident that a jewel menthol is going to get through. And I don't know what like inspires me to say that. I just think it's going to happen. I just think it's going to happen. So uh, let me do one more last thing here in the news and advocacy. Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller. And, you know, it's Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller. This man has been standing up for harm reduction. This man has been standing up for adult use of flavored electronic cigarettes for smoking cessation. And he's done more.
10% is really uh, sneaking up on me a little bit here. He's done more. So he, this is from the office of the Iowa uh, Department of Justice, Office of the Attorney General Tom Miller. They are writing this letter to Rochelle Walensky, who is the director of the CDC. You know what they're trying to do? This is this is my favorite piece of news. If you've not been paying attention the whole news and advocacy, pay attention to this. Dear Dr. Walensky, this is from Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller. This letter is signed by 75 multidisciplinary experts as well as other key stakeholders in the fight to reduce tobacco-related disease and death. This includes seven individuals who have served as the president of the Society for Research on Nicotine and Tobacco. Drawing from our collective expertise, we're writing to petition the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to rename e -Volley. I didn't think this was a big deal. I didn't think this was a big priority, but Tom Miller and 75 other signatories are petitioning the CDC to change the name of Evali. Evali. It says the name Evali is inefficient and misleading. It does not provide healthcare professionals or the public with the clarity and specificity regarding the sources of harm, sources of risk from these harms. Nor does it make clear what steps to take to reduce the risk of such harms. Firstly, e-cigarette as used by the public only refers to nicotine vaping products no thc user would say they consume it with an e-cigarette after the Ivali outbreak and after coverage of the evidence that adulterated thc vaping was responsible one poll found two-thirds of respondents related the lung injuries and deaths to e-cigarettes like jewel so what do they want to change it to I'm not going to sit here and read this whole letter, but they want to change it to ATHC Volley, which doesn't quite roll off the tongue like e volley does, but it is much, much more accurate. They say, we believe that adulterated THC vaping associated lung injury communicates a far more accurate information to the public on health risks. THC Volley. THC Volley doesn't quite roll off the tongue quite as good, but I am I am here for this. I am on board. Let's change the name of Evali. They go on to say, the name Evali is stigmatizing and does not help to prevent its spread. As you know, this is the depressing part. In the United States, HIV, HIV was originally and unfortunately titled gay-related immune deficiency, GRID. Gay-related immune deficiency. Our government did that. Gay-related immune deficiency. This was problematic for two reasons. One, it stigmatized sexual orientation minorities. And two, it misled heterosexuals into feeling safe. While important particulars are different in this situation, we have concerns that Evali currently, one, stigmatizes nicotine e-cigarette use, which the CDC itself has recognized to offer potential public health benefits, and two, does not communicate the risks of lung injury from adulterants such as vitamin E acetate. Similar concerns have been raised by other informally named diseases such as swine flu and West Nile virus, which in different ways both stigmatize and mislead. They drag the American Lung Association over the coals, which, again, ALA, zero credibility to me. ALA might, as, might not even as well exist. They were outraged, <laughs> you know, outraged that FDA could possibly give a marketing approval order to a big tobacco, high nicotine vape product. They were outraged. And then they just started deleting comments off of their Twitter thread. <laughs> the American Lung Association has literally zero credibility. Zero credibility. So this letter's out there. This letter's going to the CDC. 75 signatories on this, including all of the past presidents for the Society of Research in Nicotine and Tobacco. This is a heavily scientifically weighted letter. 
if they don't change the name of Ivali from this, shit, that's it. I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't know what to do. This is the greatest, this is the best effort I've seen to change it. And Tom Miller, Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller, he's kind of spearheading this. And even looking through the signatories on this, like my mouse isn't working, but there are names that I recognize damn near every name on here. It's like, yeah, Neil Benowitz, Jonathan Foulds is on here. Who else is on here? Uh, Christine Del Nevo. Yeah, she's on here too. Who, what other names do I recognize? Peter Hayek. Yeah, recognize that name. Let's see. There's uh, Anne McNeil, King's College London. We've talked about her before. Time. Who else? Lots of people on this. Lots of really important, like, this isn't just, you know, pe this is, this is health professors at universities. This is, you know, the distinguished professor of the Department of Public Health at the University of Chicago, Illinois. These are, these are weighty names. Weighty? Oh, I guess that's the right way to say it. Weighty names behind this. So, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to literally everything I talked about here in the news and advocacy segment. And I would encourage you just to do this. Join CASA, follow the calls to actions, defend vaping. That's, that's, that's my request. Defend vaping and drink high alcohol beer. Okay. Now that we're done with the news and advocacy, like I said, I'll put all those links down in the description. I would personally like to do some super chats. Yeah. Bloomberg is, listen, Bloomberg is beyond angry, beyond angry. Campaign for tobacco free kids are beyond angry, beyond angry. They, I, there's no other way to say this. They only want cigarettes as the option. Your only option for Mike Bloomberg, for Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, for the World Health Organization, if you want nicotine, just smoke your damn dirty cigarettes, you dirty fucking smoker. That's the message we get from the World Health Organization. His head has exploded. Okay, now let's get to some super chats. If my mouse would work at all, which it won't, it's frozen literally right now. Okay, let's get into these super chats, you guys. Appreciate you hanging in there. Glenn Ness, is that where we left off? Glenn Ness, oh no, we're way back here. Holy crap on a crutch. Southern Comfort's here. I didn't even see you sneak in there, buddy. Didn't even see you sneak in. I really wish my mouse was performing uh, satisfactorily. Apple? Come on. Dave Lloyd says, Legion Vapes sent a request to pass along $20. Passed along, Dave Lloyd. I appreciate you so much, Dave Lloyd. I appreciate you as well, Legion Vapes, so much. Uh, it's the Warhammer. The Warhammer's back. Natrid. I got the Raspberry Jam Monster in my solo right now. It was a Lone Star joke from Spaceballs. I've got the jam monster in my solo. I got it. I'm here for it, Warhammer. Eifer, uh, hey, bros is non-binary. Is it? I know dude for sure is, but I don't know. I'll, I'll ask Pam. If she's comfortable being a bro, then it's whatever. I'll just keep calling her bro. <laughs> Appreciate you, Eifer. Joe says, hey, Grim, sorry I'm late, dude. Sorry I missed your last vlog, but the railway calls for work. I hope you and everyone as well, uh, much love. Big love, Joe. Big love. Never apologize for missing a vlog. Never apologize for being late for a vlog. You arrive exactly when you intend to, my man. Appreciate you, Joe. Southern Comfort, build hexomes, point two and up. Yeah, trust me on that. It's like a series vape, super punchy. It won't fire below point two, at least not in a proper way. You know, I knew that like point two threshold. I don't know. I thought it would fire a point eight harder. I thought it would fire a point eight harder. It just didn't. Mue says John Lennon called. Said the Beatles song sucked, and to tell Grimm to sing Anthony Ramallo, Anthony Ramallo, he's one hell of a fella. Thank you, Mue. I appreciate that. You know the Anthony Ramallo song. It's going big. It's going gold. Going platinum. SVK says, uh, watch the vlog, and the crickets outside are telling me to give Nick ten. Cricket bucks? 
<laughs> Thanks. I'm glad your dad is doing well. Thank you, SBK Vapes. I don't know what the tran you know, I don't know what the conversion rate from cricket bucks to to human dollars is, but uh it seems to be pretty straight across the board. Like ten bucks seems to be ten bucks, whether you're in the human world or the cricket world, which Look, that's just very reassuring. Eifer says, uh, should have written, I want to hug him until his head pops. <laughs> I should have. I don't know why I thought strangle him was so funny. I was typing that and I was chuckling to myself. <laughs> so funny. Instagram didn't think it was so funny. Uh, Will, uh, now I am death destroyer of worlds is what the guy that made the nuclear bomb said. <laughs> now I am death destroyer of worlds. Look, I don't know if that's what he actually said, but... This beer is delicious. Glenn Ness, how you doing, bro? Sorry, Nick. Uh, Eagles game is on. That's fine. I will watch tomorrow. I may want to strangle you. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine, too. Listen, I'm missing. Aren't the Dodgers playing tonight? Aren't the Dodgers going to go to the World Series? Aren't the Los Angeles Dodgers going to win the World Series this year? Like, that's how it feels to me. And I don't even follow many sports balls, but... I like the LA Dodgers. Sexy King Phil says, I feel like my arms are going to fall off. My face feels like it's melting. Oh, yeah. Vaping saves. Where did my fingernails go? Send help. Uh, what? Okay. I know you're joking, Sexy King Phil. I want to make sure you're okay. Are you okay? Do you have fingernails? <laughs> Do you have fingernails right now? Let me know. Tim, a very gracious of you. You didn't say anything you didn't have to. Um, Glenn Ness says, you had to put a smiley face in your comments. Uh, I always put smiley faces in my comment. Oh, I should have put a smiley face before the strangle you. Do you think that would have mattered to Instagram literally in any capacity? I feel like it might not have. Eifer says, I'll be optimistic and say they gave us the inch. They, It's not even quite an inch. It's like a, it's like a millimeter. They gave us 24 millimeters. The door has been opened 24 millimeters, Same, like a goon RDA. <laughs> That's how much it's been opened. SVK Fape says, I just got a text from New Wave Dave's cat and said, if those crickets and said, F those crickets, I'm what matters. You better give Nick 10 bucks. <laughs> I love this. Like New Wave Dave's cat is calling people and like, what is going on with cricket bucks? Like cricket bucks? Is that like is that like shroot bucks? Cricket bucks? Stanley Nichols? Blake says, uh, last live I forgot to type something in the chat. I just wanted to say, hey, bro, thank you. Hey, how are you doing? Are you doing good? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Southern Comfort says they've been dropping off a list to shops in Florida. Oh, really? Is this? Are you talking legislatively like FDA ness? Okay. Devin says, eight years smoke free. Your videos back in 2013 gave me the push to try and I never looked back. Big thank you from your newest Patreon. Bow, bow, bow. Yo, yo, Devin. Happy to have you aboard. Thanks for being here. Congratulations on quitting smoking in 2013. That kicks ass. I love that. Southern Comfort says, they haven't dropped off one to Doug. A stellar Vapor in Lutz, Florida. I'm happy to have you here tonight, Southern Comfort. Missed you, bro. New Wave Dave says, I'll send my cat to the FDA. <laughs> He'll handle it. <laughs> yeah, he will. If there's one, if there's one earthly creature that I feel confident sending to FDA, look, you've seen what New Wave Dave's cat does. New Wave's cat, New Wave Dave's cat, like literally held a knife to his throat. Like, this cat is insane. Let's send this cat. <laughs> Let's send this cat to FDA. Eifer, uh, idea for the Patreon, shed time reviews where you review products like on YouTube, maybe post it to grimgreen.com and the Patreons can get a password to watch. Listen, Eifer, are you in my head right now? Because I feel like you're in my head right now. Thank you, Eifer. That is that is a great idea. Dave Davis, the the the, the monetary number of the beast 666 appreciate you and then followed up by tribal buddha the seven triple seven appreciate you tribal buddha hope you're doing good bro we missed you missed you in texas oh we didn't even talk about texas quick let's talk about texas right after this jake scrapwood i have no control over my impulses sending you five dollars buying two half pound reese's peanut butter cups <laughs> Yep, yeah, just wash those Reese's peanut butter cups down with some like Coke and coffee, you know? 
do it. Uh, try it here. It would not go until I put a smiley face. Oh, it would not go until you put a smiley face. Really? So YouTube wouldn't even let you say that you wanted to strangle me in like a joking way until you put a smiley face there? That's effed up in the A. Oh, the ban list. Listen, they can send the ban list to whatever vape shops they want, but I feel like vape shops are just going to go, oh, okay. No, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Bill West, my first Grim Green Live. Thank you for what you do, Nick. Bill, thank you for being here at your very first Grim Green Live. I hope it's living up uh, to any sort of expectations that you had. Hope it's living up to any sort of expectations that you had. What I want to do right now is open some mother. We are running really long tonight, you guys. This is going to be a new record. You're you're here tonight for the new record. <laughs> all of my all of my subscribers on the East Coast that we hang out with after the page after the stream, they're just cursing my name right now. Running long. We are running long. Let's open some mail. In fact. I have to I have to urinate. So watch the mail bumper. Let's go. We got some mail to open, but not before I go to the bathroom. So let's just, you know, chill out with some lo-fi beats and I'll be right back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Grim Green YouTube channel here at uh, GrimGreen.com. Enjoy the soothing sounds of lo-fi beats. Let's open some mail. Let's open some freaking mail. So I got a whole mess of mail. In fact, I want to share with you guys real quick. I did buy a Views Alto. You saw that. The tobacco flavor is bad. It's bad. You know what this tobacco flavor tastes like if I was going to review it? Uh, RY2. Does anybody remember RY2? RY2 kind of tasted like caramel peanut shells. That's how I would describe this. Caramel peanut shells. Adrian, you are not blocked in any capacity, Adrian. Not in any capacity. We got, some, uh, we got some vape mail, and I'm excited about this. And it says in the title of this vlog that I may have won an award. That could be true. <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> Here's the first thing. Let's get, let's get this DHL, because chances are DHL, you know, it's a, it's a China thing. Let's open all of my illegal vape mail. Oh, what? No, this is not. <gasps> Moharno. Oh, Moharno. Yo, yo. Oh, Moharno. Thank you for everything. Nick Green. Hey, Nick. Hope you're doing well, Bo. Much love to you and Pickle. Sending you some liquids. You can also add up... You can also add up to the random liquid tasting. Oh, in case you didn't get the flavor profile, I will DM you. Enjoy and much love. Yo, yo. Moharno. Oh, Moharno. Moharno makes, uh, you know, he makes one of my favorite mouth-to-lung liquids. It's this mango. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Moharno makes some mango. And I put this mango 
and literally all of my mouth to lungs, like every pod that comes in, mango. It's Moharno's mango, 12 milligram. I just love the crap out of it. Oh, dude, you sent me too much liquids. You sent me too much, Mo. Thank you so fucking much. It's mango. I know there's a mango in here, and I'm very happy. Whoa, Moarno, you're getting professional here with your labels. Lemon and everything, and an apple. What? That's rad. I didn't realize there was so many. Green smoothie? Wait, green smoothie liquid? What does a green smoothie e-liquid taste like? What? What does a 12 milligram or... Yes. Thank you, Moharno. I got some uh, My Little Mango. That's it. That's the mango. My Little Mango in 12 milligram. It's got a little bit of like minty culottiness in it. It's got a really juicy, beautiful, minty like mango. God damn it. It's so good, Mo. Thank you, Moharno. Thank you, bro. Seriously. I was, I was just waiting just waiting because this is all I had left. I'm like, I'm running out of Moe's mango, bro. Thank you, Moharno. Thank you very, very much. Now this one, who knows? Looks like it has China tape on it. That looks like Chinese tape. I've never seen this tape anywhere outside of China. But then again, I don't know. I haven't really looked at a lot of tape. I don't make it a point to like investigate tape. Let's see what we got. Hey, oh, Yacht Vape. Okay, okay. Yacht Vape has a new mouth to lung RTA. The Pandora mouth to lung RTA. I'm a mouth to lung guy. I like mouth to lung. The Pandora Yacht Vape, you know, they did the, uh, the Eclipse RTA with my vapes. This is the Pandora mouth to lung RTA. From my vapes. No, it's not from my vapes. What are you? Pandora mouth to lung RTA bell cap kit. Oh, 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 hey, that's pretty slick. It's like a smoky glass. Hmm. Wow. That's pretty slick. All right, Pandora mouth to lung RTA. Uh, you know, I'm a mouth to lung guy, so I can't not love mouth to lung RTAs. I still haven't talked about NVE. We're going to get to NVE right after this. Right after this, I got to talk about NVE. I just got to. I just got to. In fact, another thing I got to do, Jeremy V, let's get a timestamp here. We're popping off the Dixon. Yeah. I just think it needs to happen. It's been uh, cold here in Los Angeles. And when I mean cold, I mean not really that cold, but just cold because I have been acclimated to Los Angeles weather. And so when it's 60 degrees outside, I put on a hoodie, you know, I fire up the space heater. <laughs> I fire up the, sp I fire up the space heater and I put on a hoodie and I, I just run chilly, you know, I just run chilly and it's been cold and look, I'm not going to gatekeep weather, but it was 44 degrees the other day in Los Angeles when I woke up. When I woke up, went on our walk, 44 degrees. That's too cold. Adrian, you're saying you're telling me this Pandora is a year old? Are you serious? All right. Well, look, I'm still going to vape it. What else did we get here? Oh. Whoa. Hey, now, let's set this up tonight. Let's set this up right now. Holy shit. Which one? Okay. Shit. I kind of like the rainbowy gold one. This is the uh, Mi Pod 2.0. What? I didn't even know that this was a thing. Mi Pod 2.0. I like the original Mi Pod. I like the original Mi Pod. Like the, the pro, the Mi Pod pro coils that came out were great. There's also a bunch of salt nicotine liquids in here, which we'll definitely be giving away because I can't vape salt nick. And this is 25 milligram. That's a little bit too much for me. But there's a crushing grape. What is this one? Banana ice. What is this one? Strawberry cream. But, 
dude, Meepod 2.0. Slick. Oh, that slick packaging. Okay, holy crap, that slick packaging. I don't know why I picked this one. That just looked fucking cool. The gold and like iridescent. Meepod 2.0. It is big. Like that is like... Soren Air mod sized kind of big. Now, maybe not quite as big, but it's, I mean, that's a pretty honking pod. Really hyper lightweight. Really, really hyper lightweight. I want to vape this literally right now. I got some Moarno Mango. I'm assuming that this is going to be like a mouth to lung. Me Pod 2.0. Who saw this coming? I did not. I didn't know that this was a thing. Get this me pod going. I'm hoping that these are like the pro. You know, the they, they took some they took some design cues from those pro pods, because those pro pods were legit. Feels kind of mouth to lungy. How do I fill it up? Oh, here it is. Okay, big kidney shaped juice fill hole. Obviously, there'll be a full, full review for this later. You know, I'll do the whole setup thing and, you know, we'll add this into the pods ranked videos. It's nice to see Meepod back in action right here. It seems like the original Meepod came out so long ago. Too, like crazy long ago. All right. It's filled up. Gurgly. Gurgle Nation. This goes in here like this. Uh, ah, it's a manual, manual lock. It's like a mechanical lock. It's a little switch here. Meepod 2.0. Look at that. I don't know why I picked this one. Gold, sort of iridescent pink swirly colors. I just thought that looked sick. I, I don't know. The black one looks kind of cool. Kind of boring, a little more satanic, I guess. There's like a some satanic imagery on there. There's a very like uh, pumpkin spice latte, just white girl, rose gold. And then lastly, let's see, appear, appear, maybe I should have opened the white one. There's a kind of a cool white one. Got some, some more satanic uh, symbolism on there. All right. Meepod 2.0, cheers. Yo, that is good. Damn. Okay, that's rad. So the first thing I noticed is that the airflow faces away. The airflow used to be on the front here, but now the airflow is back here. It faces away from you so you can never accidentally like cover it up. It's about, it looks like it's like two old me pods tall. So it's like two me pods tall. In fact, you can kind of see like a dividing line right there where it looks like two me pods kind of stacked on each other, right? Damn. Flavor's banging. That pod tastes delicious. Moarno's mango tastes great in here. Sacred geometry, what do you believe sacred geometry to be? Because it is all satanic imagery. I do not mean to burst your bubble, but it is all occult related. Oh, I see. These have to like, once you open this, that's it. You don't get to put it back together. That's it. I'm just, I'm, I'm probably completely wrong. I'm probably completely wrong. Sacred geometry. I know there are crossovers. I, I'm not going to pretend to know what I'm talking about. Tomer, good morning from Israel. Uh, on the way to work, it's 4 a.m. here. I just wanted to say hi. Huge love from Israel. Bro, Tomer, you bump that fist. You, you take that Israeli fist and you bump it to this American fist. Unity, bro. Global unity. <laughs> That's my mission. Fucking global unity. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? Grim wouldn't know a satanic symbol if it punched him in the face. I want you to know, MF Cheech, that I have been punched in the face by a satanic symbol. 
punched me right in the face. Couldn't I, nothing, you know, I had no control. Just punched me right in the face. Hang on. We need to hydrate really quickly. Let's hydrate with Liam. No, let's hydrate with Adam. I want to hydrate with Adam because Adam goes hard in the paint and drinks a lot of water. So let's go, Adam, me and you go. Can't do it, Adam. I can't do it. Can't keep up with you. It's too much hydration for one man, Adam. You're a monster. You're a machine. Oh my God, Adam. Really well done. That was some good hydrating. Damn good hydrating. Ugh. Damn, damn good hydrating. Uh, in fact, damn good hydrating. Um, let's see, where were we? That's right, me pod, mouth to lung. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep using this. We could, let's just, uh, let, instead of hydrating next time, we'll just do big bong rip. That sounds good, Chrome. That sounds good. This is vaping really good. The airflow is not as smooth as, let's say, every other pod. The flavor's on point, and that auto switch is a hair trigger. And honestly, that I think just looks pretty slick. I think that looks like a slick pod that I want to use. All right. Me Pod 2.0, baby. Me Pod 2.0. Somewhere from California, Gardenia, California. What is my knife? What is my knife? Gardenia, California. Here we go. Remember, cut towards your body. Always. This got a little smushed. That's okay. All right. Let's see. What? Cotton. Oh, BP mods. Oh, this is a joyous package. This is a joyous, joyous package, you guys. Joyous. First of all, we got some cotton. We got Pro Vape Cotton from BP Mods. Pro Vape Cotton. It even says right there, if you're a pro vapor, you vape this Pro Vape Cotton. BP Mods. Bruce, hell of a guy. Oh, okay. That's some interesting uh, cottonness very small strands. I feel like you could just cut this and put it right into a three millimeter. I feel like that's the perfect diameter. We're not gonna get to retro vaping. That's crazy. I'm crazy to think that we would get to a retro vape. That's unbelievable. Nice try, Nick. So uh, I got a bunch of cotton to give away here. We'll display it like it's in a convenience store. And then, what are you? Futon Ohm Tab? Futon Ohm Tab. Oh, this is like a resistance checker. That's what that, this what this has to be is a resistance checker, right? Ohm Tab. That makes sense. Oh! <gasps> oh! Here we go. Here's some new and excitingness. That's the Pioneer Dot RBA. But you're probably saying to yourself, Oh, Grim Green, you don't have a dot box? Well, Bruce from BP Mods. I want to give a huge shout out to Bruce from BP Mods. He wanted me to review his dot RBA. He said, hey, we're doing a Pioneer dot. And I was like, oh, sick. I don't have a dot. Uh, I don't have a dot, dot box. Don't have one. Sorry. You can send it to me and I can give it away, but I can't review it because I don't have a dot box. So he said... Hey, I'm just going to send you some dot boxes. So I said, okay, I've never got to try the dot box. I have a, uh, dot mod is a shitty company. They're just garbage. They're a shitty company and I hate them, but I'm going to try their box mod out. And if it's good, it's good. And if it's not, it's not, but I've only heard good things about the dot box, you know? So this, I have a pioneer insider 
for dot, and then I have a dot box that's a dot box. And it's my first dot box that I've ever seen that I've ever actually handled in my hand. Probably because it's a piece of shit. Dot box. Thank you, Bruce. In fact, there's two dot boxes in here. And I did not, I don't need two. We'll see, you know, yo, yo, let's give some stuff away. So we got an ohm checker. We got the pioneer dot. We got two pioneer dots. We got like three ohm checkers. Coil heads for the dot. Okay. And then, oh, that's cool. Dude, that's kind of cool. Is it, you guys use the dot? Who's used the dot? Show of hands. Who's who's dotted in here in the dot box? We got a BP Mods Vape Tool Pro Kit, which, boosh, that's what's inside. Okay, that's like screwdrivers and some, uh, looks like star, like what are those called? They're not stars, they're not hex, they're something else. Tool kit, sick. All right, tool kit. Really, I'm pretty excited. Let's open this other dot mod. Let's open this other dot mod box and see what color it is. Because why not? Red! Oh, this is fucking way cool. Okay, that's rad. That's very rad. That's red. Ah! It's red and, and clear and sort of translucent. You kind of see through it. This is my first dot mod product since maybe 2016. Maybe 2016. I feel dirty holding it. James, I'm sorry. I feel dirty holding that shit. But I want to try that Pioneer. So we're going to try that Pioneer. Sick. Sick. Ooh. Hey, that's okay. You know what? They're durable. That's the important part. They're durable. Dot AIO, you got one, GTT? GTT has a dot AIO. I never got to use it. Uh, Never, no, never really cared to use one, if I'm being real honest, because dot mod. But look, I'll give credit where credit's due. That's pretty sick. I like the red. I like the clear. I like the button placement. USB-C. Airflow kind of comes in the side. Rough. But look, I'm excited to try it. I'll give everything an objective, you know, honest, uh, honest look, honest opinion. Even this BP mods, uh, retro vape cotton, pro vape cotton. Can we build a cotton tower over here? Can we build a cotton tower over here and not have it fall down? Cotton tower, cotton tower. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is it going to go off camera? Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, no, it's not, 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 not nearly enough. All right, well, we got Cotton Tower. And then lastly, I have one last package. One last package. What time is it? Six o'clock? All right. We are going to do... Uh, I, need to, I need to talk about NVE. I need to do random liquid tasting. Oh, okay. So I did win an award. I'm not crazy. I won an award and I didn't know that there was awards happening. Um, Vape Around Magazine does uh, awards and I didn't know that there were awards happening. I never know when there's awards happening, but I evidently I won something and that's pretty fucking cool, man. What is this? Oh, look at that. I'm the runner up. Can you see? I'm the runner up. Reviewer of the year, runner up. See, I knew this was happening. Vic, Vic over there in the UK, he won reviewer of the year. And so I am number two and that's fine. I love being in this spot. Reviewer of the year, runner up. And now I have a glass award from Vape Around Magazine. Hell yeah. James, welcome to your first live stream. You know, you're watching a live stream from uh, the runner up of reviewer of the year from the Vapor Round Awards 2021. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs>
cool. I mean, look, awards, it's whatever. I don't, I don't, you know, put a lot of stock in awards or anything like that, but it's cool. You know, it's cool to be recognized. It's cool to be voted for. And it's, it's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be the runner up reviewer of the year for 2021. I mean, truly and honestly, you guys, like I started doing this in 2009 and I, and by 2012, I was ready to be done. I was ready to retire. I did not think that literally 12 years after I started my YouTube that I would be getting, that I would be even be relevant, A, that I would have an audience at all, or that in 2021, I could, re- I could win reviewer of the year runner up. That is fucking impressive to me. That's impressive to me. Shout out to Vic, vaping with Vic, first place reviewer of the year, bro. Well deserved. I'm going to put this over here. Oh, I'm going to put it right here. Look at that. Reviewer of the year. Can't see it. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, that's cool. That's cool. Like that kind of makes me feel good. You voted for me, Swamp Thing? Did you vote for me? I didn't even know this was a thing. I've, it's a UK based company. So it's, uh, thank you, Matthew. I feel pretty. And look, it is a great defensive weapon. Did you see the points on that? Like, and they have this glass base. So it's really easy to like, whew, like you could, you could, okay, well, look, I don't want any calls to violence. I don't want to get this video taken down, but thank you. It's very much appreciated. I don't have a speech prepared. I just want to say I fucking love vaping and I'll defend it until the day I die. I'm honored to be the runner up after 12 years. I didn't even think I'd be relevant on YouTube anymore. So the fact that 12 years later, I can still win an award. Look, I, I, I'll, I accept that. And I, I appreciate that. You know, I'm, I, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I'm just happy to be part of this. I'm just happy to be part of this. I'm just happy to be part of this incredible community and industry and in just life saving industry. That's it, dude. What a great vape mail. Me pod 2.0, which completely came out of the blue. I have a tower of cotton. I got a new dot, two new dot AIOs with the pioneer dot insider. I got a views like things are really looking up and Runner up 2021 reviewer of the year runner up. I'll take it sold sold honored. I honestly, I would be honored just to even be considered. I would be honored just to even be considered. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to have to urinate again because I broke the seal, but I do want to talk about NVE because we got a little bit of time. I'd say we have like 45 minutes that's definitely enough time to do a very random liquid tasting and give you my thoughts on what happened at NVE. Let me go take a bio break. Enjoy some uh, enjoy some lo-fi beats. Hang on. As soon as my mouse uh, bees unfrozen. Lo-fi beats. turn down the music my mouse is frozen okay i even washed my hands that time uh were there any super chats that came in or should we save those because what what was i even gonna do what's next let's talk about nve let's do that let's talk about nve uh let me roll the news bumper again because we're back to news because nve 
news and advocacy, yeah. Actually, not news and advocacy. Just want to mention a few things about NVE. So, I'm sure a lot of people in this in this live stream tonight have heard NVE. It's been a big vape show for a few years now. They did NVE at Foxwoods, which talk to anybody in the scene, that is widely regarded as like one of the best vape shows that has ever happened. Foxwoods, they did NVE at Mohegan Sun, they did NVE in Long Beach, you know, which wasn't, you know, it's whatever, that one was pretty good. So I went to NVE in Texas. And the the biggest I think the biggest downfall of this of this event was just the way that it was marketed. The picture from the beginning from the hold screen, that was um that was on a Saturday. Shit, where did that picture go? That was on a Saturday. That was on a Saturday at like two or three in the afternoon. There was just no humans there. I would be shocked if there were 250 people that walked through that door utterly shocked i talked to people in houston who were like i live in houston and i didn't know about this it's because the way that it was marketed and like i get the vision of it i saw his vision of it but the way that it was marketed was really very bad because it was marketed to vapors in the vape space as this is another nve nve you guys another nve that's the way it was marketed to vapors in the in the cannabis space it was marketed as the hemp world expo sure okay so now it's an event with two names it's the nve hemp world expo and then when i got there the event was called the c3 convention c3 counter culture convention so everybody's confused now. What the fuck is this? Is it a vape show? Is it a hemp show? Is it counterculture? What consists of counterculture? Is there going to be liquor here? Because that's pretty counterculture. Is there going to be punk bands here? Because that's pretty counterculture. No, it's just CBD and vape, but we're calling it a counterculture convention, but we're also labeling it as an NVE and a hemp world expo. Like, I'm not surprised that nobody showed up. And I'm not saying nobody showed up. <laughs> I'm kind of saying that I don't really think any many people showed up to this event. But what what bums me out the most is that I can see Mike's vision for a for a counterculture convention. I can see it. I go, "Oh, okay. Hemp, weed, alcohol, vaping, tobacco, counterculture things, not just Delta 8." This is like a Delta 8 convention. And that's it. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. I talked to vendors at this event who were, you know, in some weird far corners of the convention center who had nobody come up to their booth all day. All day. I was talking to this guy who was over by the, I was, it was, it was uh, Sharkisha. It's like four people all day just abandoned out in, in, in nowhere by a big van that they thought would bring in more people. I talked to people that didn't talk to a customer all day long. That's bananas. That's, that's bananas. And even with that said that it was this empty. In fact, let me show you just a quick video that I shot. This was a video on Sunday and it's just a little pan around of kind of this same area, but this was on Sunday at about noon. <laughs> There's Swifty, that's Swifty Hemco. You can hear some people. That's kind of how, that's kind of the vibe of it. There's that big bus I was talking about, Cali FX. Wasn't super big, little convention center space, and then that's it. And that's it. Like that's, that one minute video is the vibe of the whole show. It was sad. It was sad. I don't think we're going to see another vape show in the United States.
I would like to see more cannabis shows, more cannabis with vape included. I would honestly like to see another C3 show done properly and marketed correctly to the right people with the right branding and not just throw this weird like head shop of a show. It's like, what are you going to get? I don't know. Exotic sodas, bongs, Delta 8, CBD. I feel like when I walked into this convention, I walked into a head shop, just everything random, you know, everything weird and random. But with that said, it was a really fun show. I had personally a lot of time, a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. My patrons and I kind of used this event as like a, well, let's get together. Let's just hang out. Like we've been talking online for like a year now. Let's time, let's meet up. Let's have a, let's have a little meetup. And so we could get, you know, we got everybody that we could, anybody that could make it down to Texas and we just hang out. And honestly, if we're talking about highlights, highlights of the event, number one highlight is getting to hang out with my peeps, getting to hang out with my people. Uh, Seamus, I see you in the chat. We baby Seamus got a, uh, an Airbnb and it was a little house and we just hung out with me and some patrons and it was everything. It was everything I needed. I, I got so much like just positive energy and just, I feel energized now, you know, I feel energized. I needed to be around people and I needed to be around like my people, you know, my people. As far as the, look, Susco was there. Dylan at Straight Up Supply Co. was there. Infinite Mods was there. They had a tiny little modders gallery with well, it was Susco and Infinite Mods. That's who was there, was Susco and Infinite Mods. Infinite Mods had a bunch of dope shit. Uh, I think Frames bought a mech mod. Like, all sorts of stuff there from Infinite Mods. It was great. It was great. Here's a picture of Dylan uh, rebuilding uh, Mr. Just Right One's mod because he left it at his table. So he's like, I'm just going to vape this. And then lastly, I mean, not necessarily lastly, not even close to lastly, actually, Poon Sauce McNasty's shoes. That's it. That's all. It's just, this is everything. That's Poon Sauce McNasty's shoes. The man wears steel-toed rubber shoes with no socks. <laughs> and I can't not laugh at that. But meeting up, like, I, it's hard to explain the joy that I felt getting to hang out with, with like, the small group of my patrons at this event. Like, just the joy and like the fellowship and like the love that was going on between this group of people it was just, it was just a thing to behold. It was just, it was great. Like I have FOMO now and I was there, <laughs> you know, I was there and I still have FOMO. Like it was such, it was such a fun time. And honestly, Tribal Buddha, you know, there were so many, all we were talking about the whole time was I wish Tribal Buddha was here. I wish Disco Potato was here. I wish Michelle Lynn was here. I wish Derek was here. I wish, you know, I wish everybody was here. I, w I wish we could all get here instead of just, you know, a small handful of us getting to hang out. But we did. And honestly, if we're talking about highlights, this is it. This is the highlight. If I'm going to go left to right and shout everybody out, right next to me is Matt effing sinister. That's me. Next to me on the other side in that grim army, that's Lee. That's not the real Gerard Butler. That's lethal coils. That's Chris next to him. That's the wee baby Seamus next to him. The beer t-shirt. That's Poon Sauce, bro. That is Poon Sauce McNasty. Next to him is Will, one of the coolest dudes ever. Steel Valley Vapors. Next to him, that's Bill. Bill is a boss. I can't explain to you, I can't even tell you how much of a boss Bill is, but Bill is a boss. Next to him, Legion sent me, that's cool, Tech Dreamer. It was awesome to finally meet and get to hang out with you. That blue shirt over there with the beard, that's Sifu Mustache. He's the one that makes the good juices. Next to him, that's Matt, that's Sewer Rug. Sewer Rug showed up, surprised everybody. Great times. And then lastly, it's Frames Janklin. I got to hang out with Frames Janklin. We just had... Yeah, it's whatever. We had a great time. We got to hang out. We, you know, we rolled joints and, and just, I don't know. It was really fun. I just had a really satisfying, you know, I'm all about that human connection and I'm all about like bringing people together. And that's really what we accomplished, man. It was so much positivity and like so much like fellowship and love and like, you know, we, we, we got Matt Sinister out there and that was like a big thing for everybody like getting 
It was a big moment. It was a big moment that really changed my perception. And like, I felt like, I felt like they were letting me be a part of their group. You know what I mean? It, I can't explain it. I just felt like so honored, so stoked to be able, like, I'm like, these guys are letting me hang out with them. And that's really cool. And that's how it felt. You know, it was just really, really good really, really good times. And honestly, like I want to give a shout out to this man, to Dylan, because I got to spend a whole, like two days hanging out with Dylan from Susco. And, 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 you know, we hashed it out over the Kirsch and we just hung out and we went to dinner two nights in a row. And I, I if I had to pick like a highlight highlight, obviously it's my yo-yo squad. But if I had to pick another highlight, it's like, I, th I think I became friends with Dylan on this trip and that warms my heart because we talked about what happened with the Kirch. We talked, you know, we hashed it all out and then we just kind of started talking and like just being friends. And then he's like, Hey, do you want to come out to dinner? And I was like, fuck yeah. So I we went out to dinner. We hung out more, kind of just talking and we went out to dinner again, you know, really great dinner. And getting to spend time with Dylan from Susco and like crossing that, you know, not to sound too corny, but you kind of cross that little thing where it's like, Oh, we're friends now. Like I'm going to text you and I'm going to text you things. And we're friends. Like we've crossed the threshold from being work vape related acquaintances. I consider Dylan a friend now. And that was a huge thing for me. Like I thought Dylan was mad at me. You know, we had this whole thing with the Kirch and I was, it was nervous to, to see Dylan there, but we sorted it out and we're all good. And, you know, we can disagree on some stuff, but still be buds. And I really, like, I appreciate, I value his friendship now. And, uh, that was a real, that was like a big thing for me in NVE was getting to spend so much time with Dylan and get to hang out with him and like make good, like make amends and be like, listen, I didn't handle things well. We didn't handle things well. Let's fuck that. Let's just help each other. And let's, you know, let's be part of this community, you know, really, really very good. Really, really very good. So, I mean, that was NVE. That was C3. That was the Hemp World Expo. Not much to report on from the actual show itself. There were some cool vendors there. Um, Vapresso was there. In fact, I got, <laughs> I want to try to find this picture. I want to show you this picture because this is kind of hilarious. So uh, Vapresso was there and the owner of Vapresso, the, the Chinese guy I, who I don't know his name, he's like, oh, do you want to take a picture with the, you know, behind the Vaporesso table with Grim Green. And I was like, oh yeah, for sure. You know, I'll, I'll always do that. I'll take a picture. It's whatever. So <laughs> I'm going back there to take this picture. And I just like grabbed Poon Sauce and he grabbed Chris and then they grabbed Lee. And he's like, are we all being in this picture? So I got me and my patrons <laughs> in a picture with the Vaporesso crew and no, everybody was confused. Nobody knew what was going on. It's like, who's this guy? That's Poon Sauce. Okay. He's just going to be in the picture. That was fun. That was like a highlight. And Vaporesso has a cross two out. I've been calling it the X Ross this whole time, but it's the cross two and the cross mini. So those are going to be added into, you know, the whole review queue system to the monthly pod rankings. Uh, unrelated, I went and bought a, a smoke G priv kit just to try it. And at NVE, I got the target, the new target 80 kit, which has a PNP style tank system on there. So I was excited to get that. And then there was this one last company that I want to call out from NVE who was really one of the cooler companies at this show. And that is flight lab. Yes, this is a cannabis company and this is their little product called the control and it's it's just cool. There's no other way to describe it other than really really cool. This is an LA based company. And this little pod system. Ready? Right there. Fly tap. So, flight lab. So you can pull this out eventually. And this besides being packaged awesome, this is a little 
THC cart battery. Yeah, and that's it. You vape out of the hole right there. This opens up. Are you ready for this? Push the button, it opens up, and you have your cart, whatever. Whatever cart you want to use, Delta 8, Delta 9, CBD, doesn't matter. It's just spring-loaded. Whoops. It's just spring-loaded. You put it in there, you close the top, and that's it. You take a toot out of the top. Should I hit it? Should I hit it right now? I'm not going to hit it right now. But that's it. And it's a stealthy little slick little thing. And you just vape out of the top of it. And I love this. I could not buy one, so I bought one. They had another dry herb vaporizer there that I also bought that looks really, really cool. I was just stoked on this company, Flight Lab, out of LA. Uh, I don't know. I expect to see more stuff from Flight Lab here because they do very, very cool stuff and they have very cool branding. They were one of the few vendors there that I was like pumped to meet, to talk to, to like get to know their, you know, get to know whatever stuff they had there. I don't know why I'm vaping that MePod 2.0 when I have a perfectly good views right here because according to FDA, this flavor is the only flavor that will ever help smokers. It's not good. You know what flavor is better for me? Mango. 12 milligram, a little bit of menthol culotta in there. This I like astronomically more than a tobacco views. That's some good shit. So yeah, NVE. I'm not hopeful for the future of vape shows in the United States. I'm not hopeful for the future of vape shows anywhere really outside of the United Kingdom. Maybe Zealand, maybe New Zealand, maybe. There's a vape show in Dubai. I think uh, Germany, I think Stuttgart, Germany is still, Hall of Vape is still happening, but I'm not sure. NVE didn't leave a good taste in my mouth for the future of vape shows in the United States. But I think with some proper marketing and some proper branding, you could have a successful counterculture sort of expo that includes vaping, cannabis, D8, D9, you know, whatever other counterculture stuff. It's just going to become homogenized into a big lump of like vices, like counterculture. It's kind of what I see happening. Anyway, NVE, it was a damn thing. And uh, shout out huge yo-yo, huge yo-yo to, to, to everybody that was there. You know, all my patrons that were there, I, I loved you. And I love you and I love hanging out with you. And I wish, like, if we were going back to Houston, Texas next week, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in to go to have another meetup as soon as possible. I'm in. I'm in. Would you would I like to do some super chats? Holy shit. I think we're running long and I don't even know where my super chats are. And my mouse is frozen. The reason that we're running long tonight is because of the mouse. I don't want anyone to think anything otherwise. It's because it is because 100% of the mouse, 100% related to the mouse. Holy shit. I cannot believe this. Uh, I'm going to use my pad. <laughs> I'm going to use this thing over here. Oh, good Lord. Where did I leave off? Eifer? It sounded like you said FD anus before. Now I want an FD anus t-shirt. It also works as a hardcore band's name. Dude, FD anus is kind of perfect. That's kind of amazing. Cool tech dreamer. How you doing? Hey man, I owe you a beer. You're a genuine nice guy. Loved meeting you and all the yo-yo cool kids in Houston. Everyone was great. Definitely worth the trouble to get there. Cool tech dreamer had a nightmare of a travel time getting to Houston. I'm so glad you made it. I'm so glad you made it. And I'm glad you had fun. It was a whole mess of fun. Uh, guy gas, dark light. What do you have? I know. Uh, I don't know new wave Dave or his cat, but I got a random text telling me to send you some money. Might have been his cat. Send help. Move. You're going to have to move, Dark Knight. Dark Light, you're going to have to move now. New Waves Dave's cat knows your phone number. He kind of know. He probably knows where you live. You're going to have to move. That's the, <laughs> that's the only option. 
Fishy, yeah, I got nothing. But on the bright side, Thursday, and I'm watching the mother trucking vlog. Good times, Fishy. Fuck yeah, Fishy. Appreciate you being here, bro. Hope you're doing good. Eifer says, look up Emperor Callus from Destiny 2. That's what the me pod you chose reminds me of. Well, this, this you say is Emperor Callus. All right, I'll look it up. You know, I'm not much of a game guy anymore, but uh, I'm into it. Lenloy, hi from down under. Hello from uh, up here in the United States where nothing makes any sense. Southern Comfort says, I have a dot mod, but I have like 100 mods. I like my mid, high-end DNA and series stuff better. Dot mod is pricey, but nothing special. Look, I'd argue with you if I could. I won't know for sure until I really get into it. But look, it seems like fine, fine gear. Fine, fine gear. Uh, first, oh, sick boy. First place in our hearts, Grim Green. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You want to make me up like a glass sculpture that says sick boy, like carved in it? First place, Grim Green. I'd pay money for that. Uh, Mr. Warhammer, uh, he says, I'm buying you a beer, you runner up. <laughs> As I said before, you're doing a great job, buddy. Here's the thing, Warhammer. I will never turn down a beer. Unless I'm drunk, I may never turn down a beer. That time, not yet. Not yet, Eifer. Not yet. Josh says, uh, shout out to my best buddy, Matt. He's a great effing guy. And my dog, Kaylee, says you're rad and need a fiver. Josh, I... I love your best buddy, Matt. He sounds like a great fucking guy. And your dog, Kaylee, just sounds very, you know, very generous and very giving. I appreciate that very much. Not the real Gerard Butler. You know, Nick, I think that show for giving us an excuse. Okay. You know, Nick, I think that show for giving us an excuse to go to Houston and meet with the cool kids IRL and give us some great memories that will last a lifetime. 100% Lee, 100%. I remember all of that weekend so vividly, so vividly. It's going to stick with me. That's going to go down as like that legendary first meetup, you know? Thank you, Lee. I appreciate you. Duchess says, it's funny, Corey. Poon Sauce is actually wearing those shoes right now. No socks. Hey, who's surprised? Who's surprised by that? Poon Sauce is wearing his rubber steel-toed shoes with no socks. Surprised by nobody. Eifer says, I hope the Fly Lab comes to New York. That's exactly what I want. Check it out. Go online. I don't know if this is a thing you can buy online, but it's called the Control, and it is banging. Because, you know, like, they usually, when you have carts, they usually have this, it's like this. Like, I use old e-leaf things for my carts. So this little thing right here. But this, man, this is like, this is living in 2030 over here. Cart, battery, tip. You just toot out of the tip. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. Now, Steel Valley Vapors with the 666. Next meetup is at my shot and Poon Sauce still has the shoes on. I'm not surprised by that at all. Will, what I want you to do when Poon Sauce isn't looking, take a silver Sharpie and just color one of them silver, like completely silver. So he has one silver shoe. That would be amazing. Or take a silver Sharpie to that rubber because you know it's going to write good on there. Just write like Steel Valley Vapors rules, uh, stay punk as fuck, you know, obscenities, some maybe some satanic imagery or some sacred geometry. Just 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 vandalize his shoes with a rubber with it with a silver Sharpie. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. I'm just kidding, Poon Sauce. Um, well, it's late. We're going to do a very random liquid tasting, but I am going to have to go do the uh, whole urination thing. Literally right now, shirt's off in the pit.
Hey! You want to see it again? No, I'm just kidding. Um, Let's taste a random liquid, okay? Let's start wrapping this up. I want to get some liquid tasting. Uh, let's get back into the sample pack. We're getting back into the sample pack, baby. So, what do we have left here in the Legacy Collection? We're not going to do the Poet Sweet Black Tea because I've tasted that. I know what that tastes like. But we got some more legacy collection here. We're gonna let me put these in the uh, let me put these in the uh, let me put a, put a little poll in the chat here. Random liquid tasting. Here we go. So the first one, okay. All right, uh, salted caramel is going in there. The Whirling Dervish is going in there. And the last one, Dillinger. Okay. Even though the last one is spelled incorrectly, our choices tonight are the 121 Salted Caramel. Caramel? Who says it like that? Nobody says it like that. Nobody says it like that, Nick. Salted Caramel from 121, District 121. The Whirling Dervish. Please vote now. If the vote is in the chat, please vote now. And Villain Vapors Dillinger. Whirling Dervish, Salted Caramel, or Dillinger. Whirling Dervish, Salted Caramel, Dillinger. If it's not in the chat already, it should be there. There it is. Okay. Ooh, Whirling Dervish and Salted Caramel. Pretty neck and neck right now. Pretty neck in neck. Let me get my atomizer ready to accept these uh, liquids. Pretty neck and neck. Please vote. 38% for Whirling Dervish. Dillbinger isn't winning very much. Dillinger. Dillbinger. Dang, we might go with Whirling Dervish. Should I start uh, prepping this? Oh, oh, oh my God. That's too close. You guys got to vote. Vote. Vote, 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 vote. This is coming. This is close. This is close. I'm going to leave this going for just a, another hot second here. Just another hot second. Keep going. Keep voting. Got to get the liquid music tasting going, you know? I think Whirling Dervish is going to win. I think the Dervish is going to win. Now, the only question is, what is this flavor profile? Whirling Dervish. I'm going to have to Google this. I'm going to have to Google this before I taste this. Vish. Actually, I'll taste it first. Huh? I'll taste it first. And then, only then, then we will taste it. I think it's going to be Whirling Dervish for the win. I think it's going to be Whirling Dervish for the win. 150 votes. 40% said Whirling Dervish. So here we go. You vote for MKT PLC. MKT. Oh, here's the thing. I know. I'm going to vape this regardless of if it ends up in a random liquid tasting. This was a, I got, I bought, I didn't buy this. I got this at uh, NVE or a C3 or a Hemp World Expo, whatever you want to call it. Marketplace, this is the uh, Fuji Pear Mango Berry, which, how does that not sound amazing? How does that not sound amazing? But no, no, we're going to go with the Whirling Dervish. One, 41% of the, of the votes went to the Whirling Dervish. So let's give this a... Uh, What the fuck am I tasting? It's a uh, custardy. It's really very custardy. Is this a custard? What am I getting myself into here? Look, I've had custards. I've had overdrip. I've had the best custards in the market already. I've even had Grant's vanilla custard. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Scrapwood original. Are you dead? I just put in brand new batteries in this. 
Oh, okay. Uh, it's dead. Sorry, Jake Scrapwood. I killed those batteries in there. All right. Let's put this on the guar box. How about that? Let's taste this on the guar box. Fuji pear, pear, Fuji pear mango berry is your all day vape, Joshua. Listen, Joshua, I have heard nothing but good things about that e-liquid. Nothing but good things about that e-liquid. And I am excited to vape it. But tonight, it's all about this whirling dervish. I got my uh, Watofo Serpent single coil, 0.54. I think 50 watts should be more than enough on this. Maybe not. What is this flavor? It smells like a custard. It smells like a like a tobacco custard. All right. Whirling dervish. Cheers. Let me have a toot. What the fuck am I tasting? Uh, I have no idea. It's a little tobacco-y. It's a little custardy. All right. Well, here's the thing. Let me sit back with this for a second. I'm going to vape it. I'm going to have to look up the flavor profile of this. I'm going to mute my mic and leave you with some uh, delicious music. Chill. I don't know what I'm tasting. <coughs> it's a uh, six milligram, so it's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit uh, throaty. I'll say it's a little bit throaty. Let's see what Whirling Dervish E Liquid is even supposed to taste like. Uh, spiced vanilla cream pastry. It's like having a cinnamon bun with chai tea. Whoa! I was way wrong. This tasted tobaccoy and custardy to me. I guess the cinnamon chai kind of component to it, natural cinnamon like that is usually not my favorite thing. I know a lot of people like this liquid, but I am not absolutely loving it right now. This natural cinnamon is just something I've never got along with. <laughs> I've just never got along with natural cinnamon. It tastes like paper or like, yeah, like wet paper or something. Yeah, I mean, it's cinnamony. There's no sweetness or like frosting sweetness to this. It's like a muffin with cinnamon and no sugar. That's what it tastes like. Yes, it tastes like a cinnamon bun with no frosting. It tastes like a bakery item. A bakery item. With no frosting. Uh, this is the Serpent. The newest uh, Watofo Serpent RDA there, Sammy. And this is... Uh, I got a big single coil in there. <whistles> big ass single coil. All day long. Love single coils. Got a single coil in my RDA for vaping. Got a single coil here. Cinnamon bun without any frosting or sugar. That's what this tastes like. Cinnamon bun without any sugar or sugar or frosting. It's just it's just like a bakery cinnamon bun with lots of cinnamon. Too much cinnamon. Too much cinnamon whirling dervish. Too much cinnamon. I can't do cinnamon. Too much cinnamon in this. Cinnamon raisin bagel. I would vape that liquid, Matthew. I would vape that liquid. 
Too much cinnamon in this whirling dervish. It's nice. It's nice. It's creamy. It's, I mean, it's pretty complex, but it honestly, like I can't get past the cinnamon. Some super sweet in this would take it to the next level. But this is one of, you know, this is companies, there are certain companies that just, we don't use sweetener. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. If you want cruddy liquids, put some sweetener in your juice. This needs sweetener. It needs something. It's not bad. It's just, I can see why it's in this line. It makes sense in this line, like in that context of being in this line, it makes sense. It's just not my favorite thing I've ever tasted. It is. It's like, Ronnie, it's like you can go to Cinnabon, but you can't get any frosting. That's what that tastes like. <laughs> tastes like cinnamon. Tastes like too much cinnamon. Oh, my camera died. Hang on. Hold, please. Let's end this vlog right. On camera, you know. Oh, there is cinnamon in it. There is cinnamon. I taste cinnamon. It still tastes like a little bit of like a custard to me, too. Like a little custardy. A little custardy. Oh God, is my camera dead? Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Then we're ending the vlog right here. Oh no, there it is. It came back. Okay. No more crap cam at garbage cam. Good cam. That's all we get now. Good cam. Okay. Too much cinnamon. Too much cinnamon for old Grim Green. Hey, but that's okay. You know what? Not everything is going to be great. Not everything's going to be for me. Too much cinnamon. Too much cinnamon. Too much cinnamon. Let's uh let's wrap this up. Let's have some packing peanuts. Let's finish this vlog down. Steve. Yeah, that was a full-on dangle clack. That was like a hardcore dangle clack. It was like a hardcore dangle clack. Okay. We're going to wrap this vlog up, you guys. It's time. We ran way too long. If that's what she said was still on, they'd be starting in 10 minutes. But let's do some super chats. That's enough. That's enough. That's too much. That's too much. Uh, Rhett Falls says, I heard Poon Sauce's feet smell like Raja Krishnamurthy's breath. Wow. I, how could you be so mean? To Poon Sauce's feet. That is rude. Straight up rude to compare Raja Krishnamurthy's breath with Poon Sauce's feet. Poon Sauce's feet probably smell like a field of lilacs. <laughs> That's gross, Red Falls. Straight up gross. Uh, Barbara Burgess says, your Dodgers are playing my Giants, so this means war. Beat LA, uh, but your team still sucks. Want to wager, Tahoe boy? Oh, wow. Barbara co really coming out with the trash talk when, when baseball gets involved. My cousin Barbara, you got to understand, is if there is a biggest Giants fan, it's her. She's the biggest Giants fan. And I remember growing up in Lake Tahoe, going to Giants games, and I rooted for the San Francisco Giants because they were the closest to me. But now... Barbara, I live in LA. I have to be a Dodgers fan. I have no choice. When I bought this house, they issued me a Dodgers hat. They're like, here's your Dodgers hat. Welcome to LA. You're a Dodgers fan now. So I'm hoping that the LA Dodgers just beat the pants off of the new, off of the San Francisco Giants. Officially. That's my official sports stance. Southern Comfort says, what shoes are those? I need your PO again. I'll get you my PO, bro. I'll get you. I got you, fam. You lost it in between emails. Hey, that's okay. Th this happens to me constantly. I can prove it because I have two boxes over here that are supposed to go to people, but I cannot track down the emails that have the addresses that these boxes are supposed to go to. So I get that. I know that feeling. It's not a good feeling, but I'll get you, Southern Comfort. I appreciate that very much, bro. Very much. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let me take one real quick look around the room. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Holy crap. Just going to say goodbye from award-winning YouTuber Grim Green. Put this front and center, baby. That's some clout. Award-winning YouTuber Grim Green. Uh, 
I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to say a few things first. I'm going to say thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. I love vlog day more than I think anybody realizes. And I like that you guys like vlog day and I like that we can come here and hang out and fellowship and just be fucking generally awesome together. It's my favorite part of the week. I look forward to it. And, uh, that's all. That's all. I just, I love you guys like crazy. Shout out to all my yo, yo, cool kids clubs. We're going to hang out soon. And, uh, that's it. That's all I got to say. From from uh, Vape Around Award winning <laughs> YouTuber Grim Green, I'm going to say good night. I'm going to say be excellent to each other. I'm going to say literally no matter what anybody tells you, Chasing Clouds and Flavor Review says, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me in my time of need. It wasn't easy losing my father, but you and the vape community helped Help keep the pieces together. Love you all. Chasing Clouds and Flavor Reviews, bro. I'm, I'm glad that we could be there for you uh, in a really difficult time. And, and that's really what this is all about. Like we're just being there for each other. Um, big love, you guys. Big, big love to everybody out there. Monday, Monday afternoon, me and Bogan are going to be streaming right here on this YouTube. Tuesday, me and Danielle and Amanda Wheeler are going to be here on this YouTube. And then next Thursday, we're coming back around for another mother truck and vlog. And we're going to have some more uh, ultra vintage grim green footage, you guys. Ultra vintage. So don't forget to do the call to action. Don't forget to be impressed by my tower of co <laughs> tower of cotton. Don't forget I have street cred now because I'm an award winning YouTuber. So that kind of, you know, that's boosting, <laughs> boosting my ego quite a bit. Let's put you back there. I don't need you. I don't need you looking at me. Oh, I accidentally turned on my record player. That was goat whore. <laughs> Fun. So that's it. That's it. Fishy. Okay. We got one more super chat from fishy like vlog day. I love vlog day. I fishy. I love vlog day. And I like it when people say that they love vlog day. That makes me so happy, but thank you guys so much. Remember that no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is an order of magnitude safer than deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. You do not need the FDA's permission to choose a healthier alternative to deadly, deadly fucking combustible tobacco cigarettes. It's insanity. Science will win. Vaping will win. And uh, I just want to say big love, you guys. Peace out. Be excellent to each other. Bye.